Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate y'all stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right. It's hot. And you got here just in time for us to do a ride through Hem Creek Park. I know, I was just here last August. And I'm back again because we're doing the Insta360 videos. And, and, but wait, there's more. Buzzard Days is happening this weekend. Last weekend in August, Buzzard Days. So let me get the gear on and we'll go take a ride through Ham Creek Park. Won't take us long. It's not that big, but it is a nice camera. Oh, I'm really loving this pecan tree I'm standing under. Whew. And it is, did I mention it's hot? It's like 105 degrees right now. All right, now you guys can probably hear me better. The Insta360 crowd. I didn't have a microphone on the lapel. Even though it's a lapel microphone, it was not on the lapel. Get a little elevation on Hero 11. That way you guys are standing tall. Now we gotta find some, some good music. Let's ride. Ham Creek Park is as far up, it's on Lake Whitney, as far up Lake Whitney as you can go and still be calling it Lake Whitney. It looks like a river because it's the Brazos River. I really dig the cliffs, the rocks in here. It's just neat. Now, if you're looking to get away from it all, this is a good place to do it. As there's no cell phone service, AT&T is kinda, according to the, the park, the campground people, kinda works. AT&T, Verizon and T-Mobile, not at all. But I have Starlink, so unfortunately, I can't get away. Ham Creek Park is actually owned by the Corps of Engineers, but op operated and managed by Johnson County. There's James Steffi blocking the road. We'll, we'll just squeeze on by. like that check in it's not before two o'clock if you get here early you you have to wait it's something to do with the way their electricity is built uh, as of today they only take cash but they're in the process of putting in credit card processing I said process twice anyway so they're putting in a credit card processing ability and online reservation. That'll probably be active next summer. This is without a doubt one of the best maintained public campgrounds that I have visited in the state of Texas. They do a fantastic job keeping this park looking good. We're going to tour the day use area first, and then we'll visit the RV campground. Catch me! Catch 
reach me if you can. This is kind of the day you swim area. There are several places to get down to the water. This is one of them. There are three boat ramp lanes. And yes, there's water in the third boat ramp. And there's some additional parking up here in the trees. So if you're gonna go down and swim, this would be where you park. They don't want you parking down there by the boat ramp if you don't have a trailer. into the day use picnic and activity area so any I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the hero 11 that way so anytime you see an opening in the tree line that is access bank access to the water and there are several places to make that possible kind of particular about their grass. They don't want you on the grass in any kind of wheel vehicle. They gave me a hard time about my mobility scooter last time I was here. I had something straight about the Americans with Disability Act and that. Really good access point right here. And then right back there, where those big cottonwood trees were. It's gonna roll back a couple minutes. There are quite a few deer in the area. And one of my favorite water access points right there, the, as far as you can go. There's actually a kind of a road cut into the bank. Running into the wind, what wind there is. There are two Pavilions, group pavilions. That's number two, I guess. There are two playground structures. Look at that. There you go. Can't really see it because it's in the shade. 
Oh, darn. Shane. All right, let's go see some campsites. We have a lot of full connection sites, so if you need full connection, pull through, they got you covered. They got a lot. This used to be a military recreation area. One of the military bases had this, this reserve. I don't know why they stopped using it, but it actually fell into disrepair. And Johnson County made the wise decision to take over. Good thing they did, because this is a nice little camp. Got several duders already here. The super fan James Steffi has just rolled in. Now, if you like to go, if you have horses that like to go camping with you, if you camp with horses, you'll be happy to know that they actually have an equestrian area as well. And they don't put you way out in the middle of nowhere. They actually let you camp with other RVers. And you have water and electricity. There's a couple of paddocks, a couple of picnic tables, And there are snakes in this area, just so you know. Be prepared. You might be the rattling worm. They have an equestrian trailer. Again, a little, little editing, a little splashing. Most of your pull-through sites have very, very little shade. Most of your back, back end sites have got a pretty nice canopy. Gotta wave at James, he's on the camera. Cruise 
on down here to the end and loop back around. I, the bathrooms, the restrooms here are pretty well as spotless as you can get a public bathroom. It's, a, it's probably as clean, if not cleaner, than Bucky's, especially right now since there's very few people. That's all the back inside. Well, move you that way. Move number 11. We'll go down to the end of this one and come back. Turn around and head back to Trudy Thunder. see here so we'll turn around and hit back all right 11 I'll move you over here so much fun i hope y'all enjoyed it as much as i did and if you did please click on the thumbs up and blast me out across your social media that really really helps with the youtube algorithm if you've not already i would be most grateful most honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along that's why i'm here that's why i get to do what i do thank you so much Thank you for that. And for my patrons, I am most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?